One of the things that held me back from enjoying Risk of Rain 1 was the controls. I hated shooting with Z, and it didn't help that I played Risk of Rain 2 first, so I was thrown way the f off. I always told myself I'd go back and play it, but I never did and was a lot more curious when Risk of Rain Returns got announced. They provided a new control scheme for Risk of Rain 2 players, and I can honestly say I've been missing out. I haven't been addicted to Risk of Rain since early access and the 1.0 release. Returns finally got me in that state again. If I don't check myself, hours go by instantly. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Get fucked up over there. Oh! Bro, bro, my bro, to have a good time. Oh my god. Uh, uh, I can't spin, but I can do this. If you don't know, the biggest appeal of the series is the consistency you can achieve in the toughest difficulties and challenges with greater knowledge of the game. The chaos enveloping the screen after an incredibly long run, the fear of having it end with one mistake, the Chris motherfucking Christodolu, the composer. crazy yeah this is the same person who made it from the other pretty games? sure pretty sure yeah, yeah it is they need they dick suck now now they need it now i dick ride christy i dick ride chris silly style the risk of rain series has some of the greatest soundtracks of all time and if you don't play risk of rain just look up the music it pretty much creates the vibe of the game all on its own this is in large part thanks to chris's thinking when approaching the soundtrack he makes the music he wants to make first with very little intervention from Hopu Games, and I hope Gearbox does the same. What's cool about Chris doing the music is that he's going to be in every single title. There's actually a reason for this too. Uh, if he ever is taken off of the, the soundtrack, I'm going to mail a bomb to Gearbox. The components that made Risky 2 wonderful are more than present in Returns, which is like, duh, it's a remake of the first game which Risk of Rain 2 is based on. About the art style. They've created a work of art. Every stage is gifted a new level of detail. Moss growing on rocks, imperfections in the soil, in the buildings, in the rocks. Even just shading was enough to make this game way more complex, but they went above and beyond. Every single enemy practically multiplied their pixel count, trying to achieve this new version of the game. Look at the Stone Titan in comparison to the other games. Now, instead of a collection of rocks, it looks more like a walking castle. It is so fucking sick. I'm not sure if this was the original vision, but it looks incredible. Risk of Rain 2 adapted Risk of Rain 1's art style. The bright contrasting colors and minimal presentation which relied on how busy the screen gets when you get deeper into the game. Risk of Rain Returns feels like it is providing detail that the series has never seen. It's gorgeous and you could tell how I feel about the change. The new level of detail also adds to the visual noise, which for any other game it might be a bad thing, but for this game it just increases the chaos the game is known for. The characters and enemies are perfectly readable, but there's nothing you can do when you get swarmed. Just do your best to manage positioning and pray that the build you found yourself and created is enough to withstand the storm. Oh, I, I get it now. Oh my god, there's so <laughs> many. It's all fire. It's all brimstone. <laughs> Me when I go to hell for being gay. There. So true, Mario. It's I all fire. <laughs> Mars, it is hell for you. <laughs> Fuck it, we burn. Honestly, the graphical change alone would have been enough to sell me on the game, but there is more. Although there is a lot of carryover knowledge in between games, Returns offers over a hundred items. Even most of the items with the same name function a bit differently. If you were worried about being bored and not needing to learn the game, don't be. The items in this game, as well as the gameplay, are tailored to the idea that the game is 2D and you can't aim anywhere you please. Your success in the game is dependent entirely on your positioning, game knowledge, and your build. Risk of Rain 2's items keeps in mind that you have control over where you aim and dodge in a much more open environment. Returns items and gameplay functions perfectly for what it tries to be. Although they don't have the same style of gameplay, the core of the game is still there. The feeling, creating builds, rolling the dice, and overcoming chaos. There is a ton of new content, new items, original survivors, as well as survivors translated from two perfectly like Artificer. There's also the Prismatic Trials, special tasks given to the player to unlock achievements and items. 
Alternatively, most of the items can just be unlocked via playing the game if that's not your style. Having a large number of items be unlockable adds a lot to the game time and allows you to breathe when you're learning. You won't be too overwhelmed with choice and items because you're just gonna learn as you go. It's great. Oh yeah, on Pilot and Drifter, they're the newest characters and they are both so good. They feel so natural, but they still offer new situations for you to experiment with. Again, the visuals alone were enough to get me to buy this game, but they thought about and added so much shit that I can't help but praise it. Especially for the price. $15! I felt like I was getting a big deal to be honest. I know I'm gonna clock at least 100 hours into this by year's end as well. Some people were complaining about the game's content, saying this game could have been a free update. My guy, do you know how long it takes to make one sprite? Hours. Have you seen the detail in every area and enemy? The new characters that they managed to make feel like they've always been a part of the roster. This was a big project that they fucking nailed and they deservedly released it as its own game. This isn't a remaster. They didn't up some texture quality or provide more options in the menu. This is a full reconstruction with new animations, art, playable characters, and game modes. This is the perfect remake. You can not like the game, that's fine, but to criticize it for releasing as a game with its own price, I got two words for you. Ya mama. If you've played Risk of Rain 2 and you're kind of bummed that there hasn't been much new content in a while, give Returns a try. It's not exactly the same, but it's more Risk of Rain if you know what I mean. Who, who fucking described to me, I guess you wouldn't know. Somebody described to me a butt plug idea where it's the Rasengan. <laughs> How does that work? It's the Rasengan.